Colors of Poland. Poland is a country located in the center of Europe. It is bordered by Germany, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Ukraine, Belarus, Lithuania and a small Russian enclave. Poland's total area is around 312,000 square kilometers. That makes it the ninth largest country in Europe, right after Finland and Norway. And another thing. Poland has over 700 kilometers of coastline, of which over a half are beautiful beaches. If only a swimming Baltic Sea wasn't so refreshing. What about population? Did you know that number of habitants in Poland hasn't changed for the past 20 years and it's now around 38 million? And so, life expectancy in Poland is 81 years for women and 75 for men. Poland has one of the lowest rate of national and ethnic minorities in Europe. Which means that for every 100 Polish people, there are 4 foreigners. And also, Poland is a member of various international organizations, such as United Nations, European Union and NATO. Poles Polish people are a very proud nation. They are convinced that most Polish things are the best in the world. Everything except Polish country itself. But there's a number of things where Poles are one of a kind. Polish men are said to be old-fashioned gentlemen. Poland is one of the few countries where polite hand kissing is still a common practice. It is also natural for men to open doors for women, pass them at the door, or carry heavy things for them. Polish people also like to think of themselves as the most attractive compared to other Europeans. And think they can hold their drink better than any other European. Strange, considering Polish people are one of the least happy people in Europe and are at the bottom pile of Europeans willing to crack a smile. Smile everyone! <laughs> Language The first thing you learn from a Pole is how to swear in Polish. The next thing is how difficult this language is. Polish language is said to be one of the most difficult languages to learn, and it's not very catchy to foreigners. Polish is full of traps, but the biggest enemy of foreigners are numbers, especially number 2. When declined, it can take on 17 grammatical forms, more than any other numeral. Now it's easy to understand why Ludwig Zamenhof, a Pole of Jewish roots, invented Esperanto, most widely spoken language constructed for international use. Today, it has up to 2 million total speakers from all over the world. It can be learned 10 times quicker than English. That means that you can easily speak Esperanto after 12 days of study. And guess what? Esperanto grammar rules says numbers don't change grammatical form. Well, no more traps! Food Poland is a country of food lovers. Although Polish food may not be as diverse as Italian or Japanese, it's catching up with a number of worth trying festive meals. There are a few main dishes that hold special place in Poles' hearts. Those are Russian pierogi, dumplings filled with white cheese and potato filling, red borscht, soup made from beets, and beef tripe, soup made from cow's stomachs. But there's only one meal that could be called a traditional Polish dish, and it's żurek. 
soup based on sourdough, served with fresh bread, boiled eggs and boiled kielbasa. But Polish cuisine is not only food, it's also about hospitality. There's even a popular Polish saying that says Guest in the house, God in the house. You can be certain that you won't leave your host house hungry. Moreover, you won't be able to leave until the very last piece of food is eaten. Bringing flowers is always a good sign. But remember, mm -hmm. if you do happen to be a guest in a Polish house, don't bring chrysanthemums or lilies with you, as they're mostly appropriate for funerals. Alcohol Sorry Russia, a true birthplace of vodka is actually Poland. Although there is no consensus regarding the place where vodka came into being, both Poland and Russia have been arguing over it for centuries. But the origins of the word speak for itself, as it is a Polish word down to the roots. Traditional Polish vodka is made from rye and potatoes, and that taste is now famous around the world. But let's leave those controversial matters and move on to a more pleasing topic – drinking. In Poland, drinking is a public affair. Basic rules are simple – gather three people or more, and there you have it. And don't forget about Polish celebration toasts. Sometimes good old cheers is just not enough. That is why Poles often drink for the left leg, right leg, open bottle, closed bottle, um, well, buttons up. Warsaw. Warsaw, the Polish capital, is the largest and the most populated city in Poland. Warsaw is also known as the Phoenix City, as it was destroyed in 90% during World War II and later on rebuilt from scratch. But modern day Warsaw has gone through a lot of changes. The place where you can see Warsaw best is Palace of Culture and Science, gift from Soviet Union to the people of Poland. Built in 1955 by over 3,000 workers in merely three years, was and still is the tallest building in Poland, reaching up to 230 meters. But there's one thing you won't see from the Palace of Culture, and it's the Warsaw subway. It's the only subway in Europe where voice announcers are not generated by computer. Plans to build an underground system for Warsaw date back to 1918. Over 70 years later, first section was opened. Whole project was finished in 2008, making Warsaw Metro one of the longest ever built. But it was worth it. Since 2008, Warsaw Metro has won a number of awards, including Best Maintenance Program, and Best Driver Award. Immigration There is no longer one Poland. Currently outside the country lives up to 17 million Poles. That's about 40% of whole population. That means that for every 10 Polish people, 4 of them are immigrants. There are around 10 million Poles in United States. Therefore, the largest population of Poles outside Poland is in the state of Illinois. Over 7% of whole population there are Polish immigrants. The city they've come to love most is Chicago, where lives over 1.5 million inhabitants of Polish roots. 
That is why it is known as the capital of Polish immigrants. And so there are Polish districts where you can buy Polish bread or kielbasa, go to Polish church, or if you're lucky, attend to Polish Constitution Day Parade. Say hello to Second Poland. Now you know that Poland has different kinds of colors. Though it may seem like a weird country, irritating one, funny or even strange, in the end it's a country that has a lot to give. You just have to find the true colors of Poland. Come and try, it's really worth it.